In this tutorial I will show you how to create a cell and the cell is the same as a block for those of you who are familiar with AutoCAD or it's the same as a family for those of you who are familiar with Revit. So in this case I want to create a cell of a curved stone which is placed in concrete and I want the insertion point to be located at a distance of 12 cm from the top of the curved stone and then at this point right here we have where I have added a horizontal line just as a help line to indicate the 12 centimeters. But to get started we need to create a new cell library and we can do this going into cells. Select file and new and we just want to give it a name. So we'll just call it Curbstone and then Roar for the class and select Save. And in this case I will mark everything that should be included within the cell. So it should be the curved stone and also the concrete. And the next step is to define the insertion point. So I need to select Define Cell or Region select it and then place the point at the intersect between the horizontal line and the curve stone and now I can select create and I just need to give it a name so curve stone 12 centimeters and I'll just do the same for the description And we want to create a graphic cell and just select create. And now to place the cell I just need to right click and select place. And if I just first unmark the mirror then I can place the first cell and if I also want to place the cell at the left side I can mirror the cell and I just need to make sure that it has been set to vertical and then place the cell on the other side and right click to finish the command. So the next step is just to modify the pavement structure and I can do this if I select trim element and in this case I want to trim this line according to the cell and just left click to accept and I just need to do this with all of the pavement lines.